Coming up tonight, plenty of reaction to yet another Singaporean youth planning a terror attack on a place of worship. A collaborative art exhibition pays tribute to the frontliners in the pandemic and it features works by migrant workers. Watch out Netflix, Disney Plus has hit more than 100 million global subscribers. This is The Straits Times News Night, I'm Dylan Ang. Good evening, I'm Chao Suen. Today's news of a 20-year-old self-radicalised Singapore youth who had planned a knife attack on Jews in Singapore has sparked outrage, both from the community as well as the authorities. Amiru Ali, who was a full-time national serviceman in the SAF when he was arrested last month, had planned to target three Jewish men after their Saturday congregational prayers at the Magain Aboth Synagogue in Waterloo Street. This is the second case of a planned terror attack by a self-radicalised youth on a place of worship in recent months. I mean, when a 16-year-old, 19-year-old, 20-year-old, uh, different persons from different religions, uh, you know, want to do this, it shows you that uh, radicalization is reaching to uh, younger and younger people. Internet, what's available, it causes them to go astray I mean, to be fair, it's a very small minority, but that small minority can, can create a, a deep division within society. Organisations have called for education and guidance for Singapore's youth to ensure they are less susceptible to radicalisation. Calling the case shocking and distressing, the Islamic Religious Council of Singapore, or MUIS, said to this young man and other self-radicalised individuals before him, we say this dishonours and desecrates the very faith you claim to defend. The inter-religious organisation said it was appalled by the news and it is now critical that religious leaders and parents are vigilant about such online content that spread hate against faith groups. Ministers have also expressed shock and dismay over the 20-year-old Singaporean's planned attack on Jews. Muhammad Faisal Ibrahim, Minister of State for Home Affairs and National Development, said he was wrongfully misled into believing that he would become a martyr if he were to die fighting against the enemies of Islam on the battlefield. Edwin Tong, Minister for Culture, Community and Youth, said this grim accident is another sobering reminder of how important it is to remain vigilant and to not take our social cohesion for granted. ISD says investigation to date indicates that Amiru Ali had acted alone and there was no sign of him trying to influence anyone or involve others in his plans. ISD adds that anyone who knows or suspects a person is radicalised should call the ISD Counter-Terrorism Centre hotline at 1-800-2626-473. In other news tonight, Singapore's economy will grow by 5.8% this year, according to a survey of professional forecasters. That is better than the 5.5% expansion predicted three months ago. And the construction sector is expected to lead the recovery. The Trade and Industry Ministry's official forecast is for gross domestic product to grow between 4% and 6% this year. In a sign of economic strength, Condo resale prices rise for seventh month in February, and the highest transacted price for a private resale flat was $25 million for a unit at the Mark on Patterson Hill. The higher sales come as a surprise as transactions typically slow down during the Chinese New Year period. An update on the COVID-19 situation here. Ten new cases were confirmed today, all imported once. There were no community cases and none from migrant workers' dormitories. Let's take a look at what's been making waves online today. Have you downloaded Disney Plus yet? I have and it's basically consumed my life. And I am just one of the over 100 million global paid subscribers who have signed up for the streaming service since it launched 16 months ago. Announced during the company's virtual annual meeting of shareholders, Walt Disney Company's chief executive officer also said that the company has set a target of 100 plus new titles a year, including titles under Disney Animation, Disney Live Action, Marvel Star Wars and National Geographic. 
And two days after the explosive Meghan Markle and Prince Harry interview with Oprah Winfrey aired, Buckingham Palace has responded. In a statement issued on her behalf, the Queen said, The whole family is saddened to learn the full extent of how challenging the last few years have been for Harry and Meghan. The issues raised, particularly that of race, are concerning. While some recollections may vary, they are taken very seriously and will be addressed by the family privately. She added that Harry, Meghan and their son Archie will always be much loved family members. And it's time to say goodbye to the beloved television family, the Kims. The popular Canadian sitcom, Kim's Convenience, that airs on Netflix here in Singapore is ending prematurely with its upcoming fifth season, despite having been renewed for a sixth. It appears that the co-creators have decided to move on to other projects. In an Instagram post, one of the show's stars, Simu Liu, said that it has been an unbelievable privilege to entertain fans. He said, I am heartbroken. I was fully expecting to come back for a sixth season. In fact, I was probably more excited than I've ever been. He added that if Kim's convenience can stand for anything, let it be that amazing things can happen when you open the gates and allow for more diverse and authentic stories to be told. If like me, you're already excited for the weekend, here's something you can look forward to. This Saturday, an exhibition of artworks paying tribute to healthcare and essential workers during the COVID-19 pandemic, titled Heroes of Our Time, will open at Iron Orchard. Co-organised by the National Healthcare Group and Singapore Art Society, the exhibition will feature works by people from all walks of life in Singapore, from budding young artists to professionals and migrant workers. Admission is free. And that wraps up the Straits Times News Night. Do visit straitstimes.com to see more news and videos. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the button below. Have a great evening. We'll see you tomorrow.